Hey there, this is Melorian, and this is going to be a very interesting War Machine Battle Report. Uh, basically, this is going to be a trial game or a little practice game for the Love Machine Tournament I am running this weekend. And this is the third scenario called Love Child. Now, this tournament is 50 points. You take two casters, but they don't have to be from the same faction. The whole idea is they fell in love. Now, in this one here, this is their love child. So you take the dominant caster, that's the one with the highest strength, and you use his stack card. Then, for the non-dominant caster, you take his spell and feat card, and that's the new caster. So uh, in this case here, they both had strength 7, I had a randomize, and uh, epic striker 1. So we have uh, Strask here, and this is going to be pretty crazy. Uh, pretty much he runs the entire force now. Uh, everything's going to be friendly faction, and because of how weird it gets here, we have War Machine and Hordes, what you do is basically get a, a replica of your focus or your fury. So for my opponent, he's going to have double hordes. So he just has basically two sets of five fury. I'm going to have six focus and six fury. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be wacky and uh, should be interesting. For my opponent here, he has uh, Xerxes and also Resheth. So uh, Xerxeth, I guess, would be what it would be. But uh, yeah, kind of interesting here. Kind of a hard hitter, but with all the spells. And so for him, he basically has 10 Fury. However, you use the 5 still for, you know, whenever you're trying to cast offensive spells or for control, control range and stuff like that. So otherwise, the way the mission works is that it's the first one of 5 points. You get 1 for controlling the zone, 2 for dominating. Very simple, but you got these crazy casters. So from my side, what I got going is uh, Epic uh, <laughs> Strask running Old Rowdy and a Spitter. I also have the Max Blazers, the two Posse, Max Sword Knights. I have uh, uh, Rupert there, and then also Snapjaw and Wrongeye. On his side, now, sorry, there is he is just trying some things out, but uh, basically what's going to be is a Bronze Back, uh, Sentinel, two Gladiators, a Posse, there's going to be the Pain Givers, uh, the Venerators, and uh, stuff. I, I don't really know all the stuff. Uh, two Agonizers. Uh, unfortunately, he is using Tiberian as a Sentinel because he's still waiting. He got some uh, uh, missed packages from Privateer Press, so he's waiting to get those bits back. And uh, the Rhinodon, that's going to be his other Gladiator. But basically what I'm trying to do here is just go up there, kill the beasts, because that's always a good way to go against uh, hordes, and then I'm going to be really looking for the assassination, trying to get uh, Epic Strask to uh, Xerxeth. <laughs> so he gets first turn, and he has uh, pretty much, this is the, like the tier list, so he gets epic or additional speed and all these fun things. So he's really rushing up the board, and uh, that's pretty much it. For my turn, I'm going up. I put up Inhospitable Ground, Admonition on Old Rowdy. I also pop my feet. So remember, this is Rask's feet. So all these guys here that are within the 12 inches, you can't charge or you can't uh, target them with attacks unless you're within 5 inches. So I should be very safe, and then I can go for the counter charge. So basically for his part, he just kind of goes up, and uh, unfortunately when he's moving up the Venerators, uh, even though I said I pop feet, it is kind of confusing when you see Epic Striker, and it's like, oh yeah, it's Rast's feet. So the Venerators didn't really want to be there, but hey, if nothing else, they're trying, they're kind of gumming things up. Uh, the Agonizer are up there saying I can't use Admus and allocate focus and stuff, but unfortunately he is outside of the range to get Rowdy, so I can still be doing that. Uh, and then otherwise, he has Locker up on the uh, sentry, and that's really it. So the plan here, looking at this, is I really want to take out uh, the sentry and the one right gladiator. And then for my shots, doing some brutal shots, and the spitter really do a lot of damage to his uh, bronze back. And I think if I do that, he'll be in a really tough spot. Also, on the, the previous turn here, I was able to shoot down two of the gators. I don't think I mentioned that before. So on, on my uh, turn coming up here, it went 
Okay, uh, the Gators kind of charge in. They do a little bit, but Locker really screws up their movement. Uh, the Blazers do some shots into the bronze back, but it really wasn't doing any damage at like dice minus nine. So I just started killing off some of the other stuff that was in the way there. Um, Sword Knights just really shift over. I'd also shot the Spitter at the bronze back. Uh, Rowdy then goes in and finishes off the sentry. So there goes down one of the heavies. And then I am able to move up Wrong Eye and Snapshot charges in. But, you know, I'm needing, I don't know, not, not much to hit five or six. And I just kept on missing. So, uh, unfortunately, I did not kill him. Took off a little bit more than half his boxes. But nothing is, uh, none of his spirits are out or any of that stuff. So, I'm probably going to lose him. Uh, Admonition is still up there on old Rowdy. So, I should be able to save him. But, you know, it's okay. And at least, hopefully, whatever he does, I'll find some way to get to the Xerxes. So on his turn, first of all, he goes to try and clear up some charge lanes. So he moves his venerators out, just taking a bunch of free strikes and getting them killed. And I think that was kind of a mistake, uh, especially because what he's trying to do is deliver the gladiator to old Rowdy. And I just admonitioned away. So he kind of didn't see that. And so uh, that didn't go so well for him. Uh, Xerxes came up and he actually had to spend a lot more than he wanted to kill the gator that was there because I just kept on toughing. Uh, he also then put out a bunch of animuses and stuff like that. And he's not only camped on one, so he's in a lot of trouble, especially because then the bronze back goes over and he kills a whole bunch of my guys with uh, follow up and all that. But, you know, it's not too bad. He also kills Snapjaw, but I still got, you know, old Rowdy over there. And the main thing is, you know, it doesn't really matter what's going on on the left or the right. All I'm looking at is this nice line between uh, my Strask and his Xerseth. And uh, really all I have to do is get my guys out of the way and kill one gator. And uh, I can just charge right in. So that's what I do. I just move my gators away, get a couple of free strikes. Then I come over with uh, the sword knights. Jay, they charge to get out of the way. Uh, the blazers come over. They kill that one gator that was in the way and do a little bit of damage to Xerxes. I then go for the overload, go for three dice. Uh, I'm under the, his feet turn, but even with the minus two, I'm still like pow 23 here. So I come in and yeah, it's He's just dead. So there you go. Uh, interesting game. Definitely one you have to be very careful of because these casters are not like anything you've ever seen before with a mix of the two cards. And they're also more powerful than usual. So they can get a lot of work done. So either way, there you have it. And thanks for watching. Bye.